Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest started off as a viral sensation when she put these men all the way in check right from her car. <laughs> she has since evolved into a hilarious comedian and actress, and soon you'll get to see those acting chops in full effect in TV One's Dear Santa, I Need a Date. Take a look. Hey, yo, my man. Look, can you take my order? Cause she not finna take my order. I don't know, she might spit in my drink. I need you to take it. Take my order, cause this is too much. This girl all on my neck, all on my neck. Give me a yak. Go! A yak on the rocks. You want something? What's a yak? Make it a double. He gonna take a double, I just want a single on the rocks. You and your breath! Oh, honey, that's a day from you know where. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome actress and comedian B. Simone. Yes. <laughs> Girl, what type of date are you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm having some easy. How are you doing, baby? All you right, datezilla. Hey, you make yourself at home yes. very comfortable. Thank you. Uh, my God. Uh, OK, I mean, people know that you. As it this was, yeah. amazing viral sensation. Yes. And now you segue into these amazing things, but what made you start that initial rant? Honestly, I was just being myself. I didn't know I was doing comedy. I was just posting videos. Instagram had 15 second clips once they came out with the videos. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is dope. Let's mm -hmm. post videos instead of pictures. And I was just talking and I realized the more I did it, the more people related to me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's so many women out there going through what I'm going through. Going through the struggle. Yes. With the men. Yes. Have you found a man yet? Girl, not no. yet. I know he's out there. Hello. <laughs> oh. Come get me. I'm ready. What type of man would you like be, Simone? Alive with a pulse. Uh, that's okay. That's that's it. So that's it. The floodgates are open. He's no, uh, just, just you know the basics. Okay. Nice, all about me, successful. Yeah. Where did your unique voice of infliction come from? Honestly, I was talking about that with my best friend the other day. Um, she's been my best friend since sixth grade, yeah. and she was like, "You always talk like that." I'm like, "Really?" But I think. Um, once I was on the internet and going viral, more people start to talk like it. Uh -huh. So it made me be like, I guess I really do talk like that. And it just went crazy. <laughs> so many people are doing it. Will Smith did it recently, the Be Simone Tone. All right now. Um, Cardi, uh, Taraji P. Henson. It's just so dope. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is just dopeness for you because Thank you. you're now a member on MTV's Wild and Out. Wild and Out. Yes. And you have your own style first from the car. And now yeah. it's this whole television thing yeah. with a whole different set of cameras. <laughs> So, different. so tell us about that transition for you. In the car, it's just like, you know, you could do a few takes. Mm -hmm, you're just talking, mm -hmm. it's straight through. But while and out, DC and Carlos and all those boys, they don't play. They be roasting <laughs> me, like, your boobs sag. I'm like, shut up. Oh, well, you know, oh, oh, whatever. Oh, you know, they go in. They real with it. So I'm not a roaster. I usually, my comedy, I talk about myself. Yeah. Right? I don't talk about other people. So you don't go home and prepare. So I got, I got you. Don't worry No, about I just it. be like, you're ugly. Leave me alone, DC. <laughs> 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 so, roasting is hard. You got to command those boys. Roasting is very difficult. Mm. So, does Nick Cannon, did he ever come to you and say, okay, this is how you have to do it. This is how you have to come at him. Nick didn't give me no tips. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, good luck. You Are know, you yes, that was it. He didn't give me no tips. I had to figure it out. Oh, so, man. how do you come up with stuff like right off the top of your head just to roast somebody? You, you just got to look at them yeah. and just call out their flaws. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's talk about your new movie, Dear Santa, I yes, Need a Date. Yes. Give us a little breakdown of the movie. So it's just a movie. Ray J's the lead. Uh -huh. um, him and his sister are, have a little competition going on to see who can have a date for the holidays. Okay. Who's going to bring home a date? So, well, now, girl, I would not want to bring your character home for a date. Mm -mm. I don't, she's a little much. Yes. She's a little much. Yes. She gives yes. you anxiety. Going yes. on a date with her is like too much. So it was really fun playing her. Yeah. Just a little, you know, ghetto girl <laughs> and just being, <laughs> being myself. Yeah. <laughs> Remember she on the channel? She was like, Byron. Yeah. Being yeah. yeah. like, like, myself a little like bit. That. Yes. Much, really much. Okay, but you're going on tour soon. I am. And uh, oh my how gosh. did this come about for you? Um, going on tour with Martin Lawrence, I get to open up for him. Wow. And I just, That's amazing. Oh, every time I think about it, I get chills. Are He's you so nervous dope. about that? I am. But everything I've done up until this point 
has prepared me for that. Mm. So God was like, I'm going to let you do stand up for two mm -hmm. years and then I'm going to put you on tour with Martin. So I'm ready. I'm wow. ready. But, but you always enter through the crowd when you're performing. Always. Why, why do you do it? Because stand up is the hardest, most rewarding thing I've ever done. Dang. Oh my God. Yeah. Get Every it. time I have Get to. Because it. it's so <laughs> scary. I walk through the crowd. I got to feel yeah. my oh, fans. I need the, the energy of the people. I'm like, y'all got to give me something. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to go on the stage. I got to walk through, feel you, vibe, mm -hmm. and then I hop on the stage. Yeah. Every show. When does the tour start? It starts in February. Oh, that's in right. In the first yeah. city? Uh, ooh, I don't know. Girl, you it's on my dog. Instagram. It's on my Instagram. But all the dates are on there, on my website, officialbsimones.com. So proud of yes. you. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. So I'm ready. I got to come to a show. We're going to do Atlanta. I know right. we do the Atlanta in February. The next Tiffany head is right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 The Circle. Be Simone, thank you so much for thank joining you us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're always welcome to the Circle. And dear Santa, I need a date. It premieres Sunday, December 8th at 7 p.m. And it's followed by an encore presentation at 9 p.m. on TV One. If you're staying with us for the full hour, she's going to join us at the table. You don't want to miss it. And, of course, conversations continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my God, so exciting. We are back with the hilarious B. Simone, and we couldn't let her go without bringing her over here to the table. Yes. Help us break yes. down what's happening in the world today. Yes. 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 You got to give true tea, honey. You okay, I'm going to be tea. honest. Okay, um, that's okay. <laughs> so, Ray J and Princess. Uh -oh. okay. We know that in your car, most of the times, you know, you always talked about relationships. So mm -hmm. I know that you have an opinion on Ray J allegedly leaving uh, Princess mm -hmm. and the baby mm -hmm. out in Vegas to go be with some uh, shoe <laughs> models and Ooh, all this Jesus. other stuff. What, what is your take on this? And should people be airing their grievances on social media? Okay. So here's my take on this. I have been <laughs> single for seven years, so okay. I can't give anybody advice on a man or relationship. Okay. Okay, I need help. But my honest <laughs> opinion is... <laughs> Don't put it on social media. Yes. Do not. You know, they, they seem like they, they have a beautiful family. Gorgeous. Princess is so beautiful. Ray J's handsome. I just hope they work it out and, you know, figure it out. Yeah. But get it off the internet. Yes. It's so okay. I don't think, I wouldn't do that, you know. Well, uh, according to our producers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble for this one. Uh, it says, speaking of airing your grease, if it's oh in grievances gosh. on social media, you had did it. <laughs> And got a whole show out of it down to the zoo. So it worked out for you. So <laughs> it actually did work out for you. But the question is, are there scenarios where it, you can do it in such a way where it's tasteful or productive to your career, as mm. in your for situation? For sure. I think so. My career is based off me being a young black woman in America that's single. Right. So I'm, it's, that's just So my, that works. It works. I'm single. Yeah. And I'm a comedian. So yeah. you never know when I'm playing. Right. Ah. You know, you I weren't gotta, playing when you got this kid network. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Show. You never you know. Right, so right. yeah, um, you know, just keep it off social media. Yeah. I think keep it off social media. I okay. think, and I agree with you though. In this instance, that they should have kept that one. Yeah, yeah. it almost looked very story. Yeah. And they had the baby inside. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just doing. The and most. also because when you put the arguments on social media and you're back with them, because I'll be going back. Right. Oh, you will oh, you go back to I'm your like, man. Yes, you girl. Go back. <laughs> Just argue and then call them out and then go back a week the people later. Are not, uh, people people are not going to be Everyone has an opinion, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, you and know. some people don't want to see you doing well mm -hmm. anyways. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and switch gears a little bit to Basketball Wives star Megan James, Ooh, who said, honey, okay. she should not have to shop the people out on social media uh, that she's mm -hmm. paid for a product. Mm -hmm. If she's paid for the product, she then right. she doesn't owe them a shout out. That's I true totally team. believe that. That's I don't, true team. I, I'm super down. I shout out a lot of people that don't give me discounts mm -hmm. if I just love the service. Right, right, the, right. I just do it sometime, but I'm not obligated right, to do anything. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, at the end of the day, when you are an influencer, it's 2020, y'all, or, you know, about to be. It's our job. Yes. So when you have a following in a platform, it's our job. We're, we're giving free promo, so I'm not obligated to do that. If, you, if it's a vibe and an energy and you make me feel great That's and I love feel. my and service, I, want to push I have yep. no problem doing yeah. that. Right. That's at how all. I feel, honey. Huh? Listen, all. let me tell everybody right now, if I pay you for services, <laughs> if I pay it. Hello, somebody. then I, you've already got your money. You can't double dip. Yes. You can't double dip. <laughs> yeah, now, it's a rule of this now. Yeah, it's I live by that for yeah. sure. No, that's, I no, that's live by that. That's if I pay you, and I pay the whole entire price, I don't ask for or to give me a little something some, but mm -mm, I'm not putting a 10 on a 2. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I love it. Just say it. this. If I pay you and I pay you in full, yes. do not come back around and say, Miss Quad, yeah, yep. can you post this for me? Mm -hmm. no, no. No. But if you get I'm it for free. I'm paying you twice if that's the you case. Even like what Megan said, you're not going to ask 
Sarah down the street or, or the grandma that paid, mm -hmm. you know, down the street that has two followers to shout you out. Treat everybody equal. Come yeah. on, I'm a, If I'm a paying customer, I'm a paying customer. And right. I pay the people. I, I, I do too. I, I am not a bad payment. But back in the day when I didn't know. have it, I was like, girl, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, will, I will give a shout out to somebody okay. if they want to send me something for free. Yes. yes. I'll give yes. them a shout out. That's just because, good. you know, people be trying to push their business. But that's an even swap. That's an even swap. That's an even swap. That's an even swap. No, no, honey, I'm trying to swap no Make sure you credit it. <laughs> When you dressed as Baps. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yes. It was very cute. That was me and my man. Oh, but yes. you didn't just stop there. <laughs> you were uh, a wife of the baby. Yes. <laughs> so yes. what was that about? Did, uh -oh. he, did he comment to you at all? so happy look. Uh, girl, That's the babies. Girl, don't let his baby mama meet me come up here and drag you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, for real, I can't fight. Okay. <laughs> right. So let me me come up here and drag you. So beautiful. Girl. You're so pretty, girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> I either guys are being nice. You had to cut out. <laughs> I hate everybody. Girl, I, I cut, cut that out, out myself. I was, at, I was at Office Depot like, that's two pixels. Print another one. <laughs> no. Cardboard. <laughs> Tape. I was like, this has to go viral. <laughs> and it did. I cut it out myself. Me and my manager were on the floor like, Cutting it out with the you it, did it was good. great. It yeah. was fun. You did good. It was fun. And the baby responded. What did he the did. baby say? Oh, oh don't, don't do that. that. <laughs> 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 you don't want any smoke. I am ready to be a stepmom. We can she can co parent. <laughs> Listen. They're not together. Yeah. 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 Never try to pursue a man that is really in a relationship. Right. I wouldn't do that. Right. And she said they weren't together, so I'm just taking her word for it. She said it. What well, a man is uh, rapping about her all through his music, honey. Yes. Girl, no, he that is not her. Shout out to my baby <laughs> mama Mimi. I'm just saying. He said all right. that. He did say that. What you gonna say about it? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. All right. <laughs> Dear Santa, I need a date, which was directed by our friend Terry J. Vaughn. Yeah, so we're girl. happy uh, that you have taken part in this particular project. Was acting something that was always on the radar? I love it. Yeah. I'm so excited to yeah. do more. Yeah. And I, I just love Terry J. She believes in me so much. Good. She fights for me. Good. And she's, she's just somebody I really look up to in the industry. She's like, this will be perfect for you, being my crazy self. But I do want to do more serious roles down the line. Right. Right. And dig deeper, cause you know stuff like this is like just be yourself, be crazy, right. be wild, be fun. Gotcha. But you know, I definitely want to do more. Right. Mm -hmm. Then, then you give me like packing the mail is gone. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah. The line. Ah, I just yeah. had a deal tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All right, be sure to check out Dear Santa. I need a date with the real Sunday. December 8th at 7 p.m. An encore presentation at 9 p.m. on TV Up One.